Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a really special video for you guys. We have the number one Amber in the world, Jigsaw, who's going to be showing us some pro gameplay here. Now, Jig gave me a couple tips, so we're going to be speaking about these tips while watching the games. Now, he is technically the best Amber in the world right now, so I would listen to his tips if I were you. But anyways, his channel link is going to be in the description below the first line, so make sure you check that out. I'm pretty sure he's very close to a 1,000 subscribers, so if you guys can get him that, it would be awesome. But with that being said, we're just going to hop right into the gameplay. Let's get into it. Okay, so getting into the first game here, you guys are going to see he's going to be playing Amber with a Barley and a Daryl. So Amber is kind of that mid control. It can do really good damage. It can also defend. It's really good on lane. So you kind of just want to replace it maybe with your max. So it can be the best type of tier of support. But you guys can see Jigsaw is just going to be holding down a lane. Now you see right from the spawn, he was able to use that gadget. But when I mean able, I mean he, he literally just clicked his gadget. And he's just going to walk all around the map. And the reason for doing so is so that he can charge his super. Now he's going to chuck his super onto the safe. He's going to wait a little bit to light it just in case somebody goes near him. But you guys see it was at 55% before. The, the super is going to do about 7 damage or 7% damage every single time you use it. Which is actually pretty good because it also acts as an area denial. But he's not using it exclusively for the safe. Is If he's able to hit targets such as that dynamite, he's going to be able to do so to allow his actual DPS fill to be able to replace him now i know i said that you can auto aim with him but it's actually not really the best strategy unless you're really up close but you guys can see jig is melting he's aiming when he's hitting the safe so he can use that pierce damage and do as much damage to them and the safe as possible and you guys can see he's just going to go over here he's going to try and finish that out and he is going to be able to and that is going to be the first game so hopping into the next game again jake is going to use the exact same strategy of charging a super by walking up the map and when someone appears on that right side he's just going to go back and forth stepping into his gadget oil and you know also just holding down lane reason he does so obviously is to get that super you guys can see he pops that gadget again now he has that entire area filled um, I don't know if that second gadget was really that good. To be honest, I would just save one and use the second one a little bit later. Jigsaw does like to blow his gadgets kind of early in the game. But already he does have his super, so that's pretty good. He's going to use his super over there on the barley. Now the issue with that is that he does connect it to the fire before. So he is kind of wasting a little bit of oil, but that doesn't really matter to be honest because you're going to end up wasting oil at some point or another. He's going to use that super on the safe. Again, he's not going to use it straight away. He's going to be waiting straight away. I don't know why I said straight away. He's going to be waiting for people to walk over or to get extra value so he isn't wasting ammo, wasting any time. He's going to leave that oil on the safe for now. So he has a little bit of damage. He has about 7% kind of locked onto the safe. And now they're on the safe getting some work in. So every time he spawns, you guys are going to see he's going to be using his gadget. A few pro tips he gave is actually that you don't really need to aim. You can just auto aim if you're not really comfortable with aiming. If you want to hit really good pierce shots, aim. But auto aim is really good both close and far distance. Going into the next game, again, you guys are going to see he's able to just quick that or click that gadget really quickly and just walk up the map. Kind of just, you know, able to decide how the game is going to go down. He can either play it passive and stand in his gadget, or he can move up and play super aggressive, forcing the other team back. With that barley gadget, he's able to play aggro. He's going to be able to light that other amber on fire, which is obviously going to be able to give him that positional win. And he's just going to be chilling on that side, regening some health. Now, I think he's going to use gadget. He is going to use gadget to get as close to the safe as possible. And he's going to do a ton of damage. Now, amber isn't supposed to be your DPS, but it definitely can be. Just like Max, it's multi-purpose. It can be your defense, your offense, your mid control, absolutely anything. The only thing it can't do is break walls, but that would just be overpowered. But anyways, Jig is going to use that gadget again. He's going to charge his super while running up the map super, super fast. As fast as he can, in fact. And he's just going to stand in his gadget, trying to charge his super. Eventually, he's going to be able to do so. He's going to light that mic on fire. He's also going to be just holding out that mid. And even though he didn't successfully get a kill, maybe on all three of them, he got all three of them super, super low. And that is going to lead to his Daryl doing a bunch of damage and his Barley doing a bunch of damage. Now, there's only 4% uh, left. It's really close. I asked Jig what modes he grinded on. He said Heist and Siege were really good. Brawl Ball is also really good. Gem is kind of iffy. I don't know if you guys want to be using Amber too much on Gem. Just because I don't think it's constant pressure is that OP for Gem. I think that it can be played a lot better in other modes. But it's still a good Gem lane. Maybe even mid sometimes. But Phil's going to finish off that game. And let's hop into the next one. Okay, so here we go into our next game. And again, Jigsaw is going to be using that gadget to run up his side. And you guys can see he's able to be 
in that kind of lane area way faster than the other team. So he already has that really aggro position. Now, Jake doesn't know what backwards is. He only knows what forwards is. So he's going to go down because he played super, super aggro over there. Um, but he did have that lane and that uh, possession over there. Now you can see there's kind of like a U-shape right around the spawn. Jig's going to try his best not to shoot that as every time he spawns, he's going to be getting a lot of charge. And if someone is on the safe and he needs to do a lot of DPS quickly, he can always just shoot that right over there. And it's at least 2,800. Well, it's not at least. It is 2,800 if you're going to be able to hit it. Jig's going to go down again, but he's going to spawn in his super. It's going to be perfectly fine. Doesn't matter. He's going to charge his super while walking up the map. In fact, he decides to run up the middle because he's so confident he's going to be able to get it. He uses his gadget and his super, um, so he's going to be able to reclaim that mid really easily. Now he's just holding down that right side. Nita is a really easy matchup for Amber. A, you take out the bear super quickly. B, you have that pierce damage, so you can just continuously shoot that bear, go right through the bear, and basically just aim at someone else as if that bear literally isn't even there. Jig's going to be able to get a successful team wipe over there, so he's going to be able to go up. He's going to be able to use his super on the safe, get some damage, 7% to be exact from that super, and he's going to hold it down. Now, you guys saw he moved back. He didn't go all in. He was going to just hold that middle. His DPS does die, though, so he's kind of trying to decide what he's going to do, what the best play is. He decides he's just going to do some damage over there. He gets really good value piercing that Nita Bear over there. And all he has to do is get a super off and a couple more shots. But what I think he's going to do is just sneak on that safe. Shoot it from range. He leaves it at 1% because he moves back for whatever reason. The one time Jigsaw doesn't go aggro is the one time he should go aggro. But they're going to be able to finish it off either way. It's a very close game actually for once. But Phil is going to be able to finish it off. And that is going to be our final game. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Obviously, Amber being very new to Brawl, there's still a lot that we don't know about it and that we're still learning. I would make an Amber guide if it was a common brawler, but it's rare. I know a lot of you guys don't have it, so I don't want to spend an entire day teaching you guys how to play this brawler if only one out of 100 of you guys have it. But anyways, it's going to be it. Huge thanks to Jigsaw. He's always on the channel helping out, so obviously huge credit to him. Link is in the channel description below, but that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace. Anything else? Ow.